Hey YouTubers. And I want to demonstrate how we can paint around obstacles so as not to get picture framing. And what is picture framing you say? Well I'll explain that as well. So let's get right into it. So picture framing is created when we cut in around objects on a wall or the wall itself in the corners on the edges. So I'll just demonstrate what people might do. Receptacle plate here. They would cut in like that, cut in across, come down, and then go across the top. And you see what's happened there? It's created brush strokes, horizontal here, vertical here, horizontal, vertical. And it creates a picture frame. And if you do that around every receptacle or every light switch and then around your top and bottom edges and your extreme right and left edges, it's going to uh, picture frame the whole wall and it creates unsightly brush strokes. So what you do instead is brush down close to the edge of the receptacle plate and this is assuming of course that you can't remove the receptacle plate if you can do that that's ideal or if you can remove the object but that's how you do it put the paint down and then Go up to the obstacle and then brush back again. Go up to the edge, brush out one more time. Lay the bulk of the paint down close to the obstacle and then cut in at a 90 degree angle and then when you roll, you roll as close as you possibly can to the obstacle and then you eliminate that picture framing aspect that we talked about. So this is particularly useful when we have an object that we can't remove or uh, we're not allowed to because of some uh, code restriction or for whatever reason we can't remove an obstacle this is how we treat it to avoid that picture framing a lot of people do this picture framing technique around receptacles where even where you can remove the plate so I'm going to demonstrate now as we continue to paint our wall I'll demonstrate how we roll up to a fixed obstacle and how we roll around receptacles you can see where we've cut in and we've started to paint along here. So I'll just show you how we continue. Load up your roller. And I'll just show you the uh, top half of this section and then I'll show you the lower where there's a outlet receptacle. You can see that I'm just rolling up as close as I can because I've cut in and the way I cut in you won't see any brush strokes whatsoever after you paint it. Then you just back roll that a little bit. Now I'm going to show you the lower half of the section. So you can see how this receptacle, how we were able to take our cover off. And a lot of people would, for some strange reason, I'll never understand, but people feel compelled to paint around this with a brush. And, well, like I said, the effect is not desirable because you usually get that 
picture framing. We'll see what happens here. I'll show you another way. We'll just catch up to our wall where we finished. And then you just roll up to the receptacle. Roll right up to that drywall edge. And you just come underneath it. Go above. Flip your roller. And come down the other edge. And you join up with your Another paint, back roll it, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick tip on how to avoid picture framing around uh, outlets and uh, obstacles on your drywalls. I hope this helps you in your future projects. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I'll respond the best I can. If you have any suggestions for uh, demonstrations, I can take a look at those too. And by all means, subscribe. Until next time, it's been Craig the Muskoka Painter, helping you take the paint out of painting.